Hello everyone. How are you doing? In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix iPhone unavailable problem on iPhone 10, XS, XR, 11, 12, 13 and new models. Okay, right now, I get an iPhone 13, and it says iPhone unavailable. This should happen after entering the wrong passcode several times. So if you guys iPhone got unavailable, you may forget the iPhone passcode and make many attempts at unlocking the iPhone, but unfortunately, no passcode is correct. Basically, you can try again several minutes later, since you could see try again in 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 1 hour on the unavailable lock screen. But what if the iPhone unavailable message doesn't move? How do you fix the issue? Alright, this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it to get past the screen stating iPhone unavailable. We're going to introduce two free and easy ways that helps you fix the issue when iPhone is unavailable. The first method we will apply iTunes and recovery mode trick to restore the iPhone. The second method is the erase iPhone feature. With it, you'll be able to fix iPhone unavailable message on lock screen without computer or iTunes. By the way, if iTunes goes wrong or won't recognize your iPhone when it gets unavailable, or you don't have the erase iPhone option, consider trying up Geeker iPhone Unlocker software to reset your device and unlock the unavailable screen. Alright, folks, the end result of these methods of iPhone unavailable fix is that your iPhone restores to factory settings. All current data and settings including the forgotten passcode are wiped clean from the device. But this is not a problem if you have a backup. Okay, let's find out. The first thing we're gonna do is to get iPhone to recovery mode and restore it so we can successfully resolve the iPhone unavailable alert if forgot passcode. Alright, grab a computer and open iTunes on it. If you're using a Mac with Mac OS Catalina, launch Finder. Then turn off the unavailable iPhone. To do this, we press and hold either volume button and side button until you see the slide to power off appears. Drag the slider and shut down the iPhone. Make sure the phone is totally off. The next thing we need to do is put iPhone into recovery mode. Ok, press the side button and plug your phone to your computer using a USB cable. Make sure to keep holding the side button while connecting the device. Now, as you can see, the recovery mode screen appears, showing a charging cable and a laptop. Once the iPhone is in recovery mode, we're gonna restore the device. On iTunes or Finder window, you see a pop-up window where you need to choose restore option. Then click restore and update. iTunes or Finder will download the software, and update iPhone to latest version of iOS. Depending on your internet speed, the restore process will take from a few minutes to hours to complete. Once finished, you will get a prompt indicating that your iPhone has been restored to factory settings. This also means that iPhone unavailable error has been fixed. Just wait for the iPhone to boot up. Ok, iPhone is now on, we'll need to go through the setup process. We can recreate a passcode that is easy to remember but hard to guess on the lock screen to protect someone from accessing your data. If you have a backup available, you're able to restore it so you won't lose all data. The apps and data screen gives you several options to restore your backup. Of course, you need to sign into your Apple ID and password to use your iPhone comfortably. All done. You've disabled iPhone unavailable on the lock screen and can now get into the iPhone again. Ok, go ahead with an easier method for fix iPhone unavailable problem without computer. Guys. You don't have to do some extra steps to put the phone into recovery mode. When iPhone stuck on iPhone unavailable screen, you might see there's an option labeled erase iPhone at the bottom right corner if your iPhone is running on iOS 15.2 or higher. In general, erase iPhone option should appear along with iPhone unavailable try again in 15 minutes. If the screen reads try again in 1 minute or 5 minutes, you guys need to input the wrong passcodes when it returns to the normal background with numeric keypad. Another factor is that Find My iPhone feature should be already enabled on your iPhone. 
it triggers a remote wipe for the unavailable iPhone if you don't have a computer nearby. And also because of this, your iPhone should be connected to the cellular network, or Wi-Fi network. Alright, we're gonna show you how to employ Erase iPhone option to fix the iPhone unavailable problem with your Apple ID and unlock iPhone without computer. On this iPhone unavailable screen, tap Erase iPhone option at the lower right corner to get into the Erase All content and settings screen. From there, read the warning carefully of resetting your phone that's unavailable or locked down and removing all your data and settings. To confirm, tap Erase iPhone again. Then, log out of iCloud account on this device by entering your Apple ID password. When you've done this, the restore process on your unavailable iPhone begins. We leave the iPhone restore itself over the air, and just wait for a few minutes. Make sure you have a fast internet speed, or else the restore process may be stuck. When restore is completed, iPhone is booting back up. The iPhone unavailable problem should be fixed without connecting to computer or iTunes or Finder, and the phone is unlocked successfully. Just set it up and restore data from the backup if you have one. Good luck! That's all there is to it. You've learned how to use iTunes or Erase iPhone option to fix iPhone unavailable for iPhone 10, XS, XR, 11, 12, 13 or newer iPhone. If Erase iPhone doesn't appear, make sure to apply recovery mode trick or iPhone unlocker tool to unlock the unavailable iPhone. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to leave your idea or question in the comment section below. We'll see you next time.